major breaking news. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey says the I-10 Bridge and Bayway project is dead. Tonight, she abruptly canceled October's Toll Road Bridge and Tunnel Authority meeting to discuss the project in Toll. That after a crucial vote late this afternoon by the Eastern Shore Metropolitan Planning Organization. Mayor Karen Wilson. Aye. Mayor Dane Hagen. Aye. A packed house at the Eastern Shore MPO meeting in Fairhope went home happy after the board refused to endorse the bridge and bayway plan. Those people made clear their feelings prior to the vote. Do not attempt to close a free road and make it a toll road. I am in favor of finding a way to pay for the bridge without a toll. I am in favor of seeking federal funding. State Auditor Jim Ziegler has led the no toll effort and the fight against the governor and her plan. There's an old southern saying, if you got a stubborn old mule, sometimes to get its attention, to get it to listen, you got to hit it over the head with a two by four. <laughs> you have the two by four. And the board used that two by four to smack down the governor and LDOT. And I believe what you saw were the elected officials in Baldwin County that responded to their citizens and voted no under any circumstances. And what we hope that it will do will uh, get Montgomery's attention, get them back to the drawing board, uh, get them to reconsider how they could uh, redesign the bridge. Instead, after that meeting, Governor Ivey said, in effect, no toll, no bridge. But Lieutenant Governor Will Ainsworth says the governor is throwing out the baby with the bathwater. Ainsworth is a member of the State Bridge and Toll Authority. And in a statement tonight, he said Alabama's Gulf Coast region is experiencing explosive population growth and traffic congestion throughout the area will only worsen with time. I urge LDOT to go back to the drawing board and come back with a more sensible proposal that releases traffic pressure without the need for tolling the hardworking residents of our state. The Eastern Shore MPO today made basically the same move that the Mobile County MPO did earlier this month. The Mobile County group said it would not endorse the plan until after that now canceled meeting with the governor and the state toll authority. The MPO's approval is essential for the project since federal law requires that any freeway project receiving any amount of federal funding be approved by the area's metropolitan planning organizations. So do we need a new bridge in Bayway, but just not at the expense of local commuters? News 5's Dana Winter has been gauging reaction tonight. She joins us now live near the Bayway with more. Dana? Well, when you're talking about a bridge people take every day, Rosanna, emotions can really run high. Tonight, though, an overwhelming amount of positive feedback. People driving the Bayway, breathing a sigh of relief. I usually stay over in West Mobile, and then I come out for all my recreation activities, so I love going over to Baldwin County and Eastern Shore to check out what's over that way. Brian Yerke works for Airbus. He says he regularly takes the Bayway when he's in town for his job. The idea of a toll taking its own toll on him. No matter who you are, whatever your socioeconomic level is, that's a lot of money to anyone. We actually broke the news to Yerke, telling him the Eastern Shore Metropolitan Planning Organization voted down the toll. I really like that idea because I think it makes access more, more prevalent for everybody because, to be honest, I see it as a common resource and I don't necessarily think that it should be taxed back on them in that particular way. While people we spoke to are happy about the idea of no toll, they're not happy about the idea of no new bridge. Just, I hope they look at different ways to possibly fund it. I agree it's needed, but I don't agree with the toll. Griffin, like many others, drives the Bayway just about every day. He says he's not convinced all the toll talks are over. A little bit of hope. Not much, but a little bit. You know, Kay Ivy is seems set in her ways. At this point, we do not know what is next for the future of the Mobile River Bridge and Bayway project. Reporting live tonight near the Bayway, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.